Let's start troubleshooting the Sentinel while we're waiting on the vinegar to do its thing. Ah, back with you again on the Sentinel radio. Uh, I figure while the uh, parts for the Hitachi are soaking in the vinegar, and I can't really do anything else till I get those done, I uh, might as well take a look closer look at this uh, uh, little Sentinel radio that Gary gave me. And I think what I'm seeing, I, I looked at the bottom already, and there's no, no screws that I could see down there. The only thing I see here is a nut on this uh, shaft, and I think that's how you get the chassis come, come out. I think, because it, it doesn't seem to want to move uh, at all. So, And it does slide out, according to what I can see here. It's got slides right there and, and there. I think you can see that, can't you? There and there. And uh, so, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to take that nut off and see if that gives us access. Uh, I'm going to do this this way. I think it's the best way. Get a better leverage on it that way. I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on it. Just a nice, easy, say, now that was easy. Too easy, actually, I think. <laughs> um, I can't decide if this is metal or plastic. It, it actually feels metal, metallic, but then again, same time, it doesn't. So let me take, turn back over here and we'll see again. Oh, yeah, now it comes right off. So that should allow the radio to slide back, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Put that over with the parts and see if this one will. Yeah, look at there, it slides right out. That's nice. Let's pull, pull it away from the thing. I don't think there's anything connecting anything. Everything comes out with the chassis. And there's our inside of our. Take a look at that. Inside of our. Yeah, see now, that that is plastic. That's a different kind of plastic though, I think. So yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, it looks to me like this has been painted. I think it was white to begin with, according to what I'm looking at here. You can see these little spots where the paint has chipped off, or, you know, I think it's white underneath. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I think I'll probably leave it like it is for now. Uh, it, the color is not great, but it's not that bad. So, we'll, we'll leave it like it is for now. Uh, what we have here closer here again is the uh, tubes and uh, you know another thing I didn't think about now I, I did look at the schematic for this I did download that from radio museum uh, I think this I'm not sure if it's really in line with it but I know it, it comes off of the tubes uh, powers the power from the tubes obviously uh, powers that also but uh, I think what we're going to do is basically check each each tube, and the other thing I was I was get, beginning to say was the power switch. I didn't I didn't check that. I guess we could do that real quick. If I don't have to, uh, if I can get this to set up without. There we go. There's the power switch right there, and I'll get my meter over here, and we'll just check that real quick. Make sure it is functional. Let's see here. Let's put it on here. I've seen something fall off. Now this is is on right now, so let's see what we get. Oh, that's not good. Not getting a, a good indication. Oh, this is. Oh, wow. Geez, this is. This is. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, you guys seeing this? Jeez, old Pete's. Now that comes straight to the capacitors. That just doesn't look right. But at least we can tell if the uh, switch is good or not. Clip on that. And I get 23. Well, 20 something ohms. 20. Whoops. 
19 looks like uh, 20 about 25 ohms is what I'm, I'm seeing now if I, if I do that it goes away if I do that it, it comes back it's going down to you know I think it needs to be worked a little bit and I'm still getting no it's it's not good so it may just be a bad switch that's a good indication I think of that I'm I'm gonna check this schematic over before I try to fire this thing up again. That just doesn't look right. I mean, I understand that. Uh, yeah, what what doesn't look right about it is the fact. Okay, I see it now. It's coming off there. I didn't think anything else was coming off there, but yeah, it's coming off. It's been recapped actually. Not a great job, <laughs> but it has been recapped. Now I guess they just left that in for uh, aesthetics. But uh, anyway, that's uh, I'm gonna. If I do fire this up, I'm gonna do it to where I can uh, get my hand on it real quick. But I think what we'll do is go ahead and turn the. Uh, I'm not turn it on. It's smelling something now as it is, and I don't even know what that is. But oh, I don't have that on anymore. Okay, that says 1.6, 1.5. That's actually a fairly decent uh, figure there. 1.1. I get consistent readings. I wouldn't mind trying it like that. And there's 1.7, 1.5. It's it goes up and down though. That's the the problem I'm seeing. If I could get some cleaner in there, that might help too. I don't see any good way of doing that either. See, that's that, that tells you right there. Every time it comes up, it's coming up different. Now, right there, it would be it would work if I plugged it in. I think. Of course, that that's you know if the uh, what do you call it works. So, you know, that's either anybody's, anybody's guess there if it works or not. Uh, there's some uh, stuff in here that I, I don't understand why they left. And I, I look at, up here, we can see this. This this is a bad, bad solder. Uh, bad, I, I just don't understand why people do stuff like that. Leave, leave their leads, wait for long, you know. Doesn't make any sense to me. But, you know. It is what it is. I'll fix all that, obviously. But, uh... Well, let's take a look at the front of it and see if the uh, speaker looks fairly decent. It does. Some dust in it, but other than that, it doesn't look too bad. So that's, that's decent. Uh, we've already seen the, uh... What do you call it? Works. So that's good. And this, I could show you this too while I'm at it. I don't think I'm going to fire this up right now. I'm going to try to do something with that switch first. And let me get this out of here first. Oops. Okay, this fits up here. I think you can see where it actually fits. in like this pretty much like that and I don't know I don't know let me uh, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say let me fire this up off camera but I don't want to do that either I mean I know I'll have a dim bulb and stuff like that but uh, I just don't like I, I, I just don't like doing stuff like that I would like to know if the uh, tubes are good though, and I guess I could test them and go that route, but I'll just soon do it this way, I think. Let me, uh, let me hook up this, what do you call it again, just to see. Well, I'm kind of glad in a way it's been recapped, but, you know, at the same time, I wish they would have done a little bit better job of it. So, 
And if I didn't say that, uh, I meant to. It's that is the uh, um, um, 50 B5 in there, and in, in that uh, what do you call it? So that's that. All right, we're gonna go with this again. Same thing. Try that. And we'll put the uh, knobs back on a little bit here so I can at least turn it on and off and tune it. Alright, now that is that. Everything hunky dory there. So, what I'm going to do is it is on again. I'm going to play with that a little bit and see if I can get this to. Come come alive. I keep smelling something. Can't tell what it is. Alright, gonna do that. I can give it a little voltage. Watch the amperage. There's absolutely no amperage on it. Got 10 milliamps. Still haven't got enough to register on the kilowatt yet. I think it's actually might going to be working this time. I'm not really sure. Okay, now we're we're coming up to uh, kilowatt territory. Don't see any filaments yet? Try this. Doesn't seem to make any difference in the uh, voltage or the amperage, so I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> I'll take it up a little bit more. I'll just keep my eye on the voltage and the bulb. The bulb doesn't seem to be lighting at all. Up to about 60 volts now. Let's play with it again and see what we can do. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let me see if I can see any filaments. I may have two problems. It may be uh, a bad filament and a bad switch. That wouldn't be the first time. Go up a little bit more. Up at 20 uh, milliamps now. 70 volts. I'm not going to go any further than 80 this time. 80 is good enough. All right, there's your 80. Two, two uh, or 20 milliamps. No difference when I turn the switch off or on. So uh, that tells me that it's not doing anything. It does tell me that. No tube, no tube filaments. So, like I said, I think what I have is maybe two different problems here. So let's go down the voltage. Flip it off. And, uh,. Alright, I'm going to take a look at some tubes now and see what they come up to be and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, sure enough, I did find one with a bad filament and that would be the 50B5. Now, I've done some reading on this. A lot of people substitute the 50C5 for these, but it does require some uh, pin substitutions or rewiring of the socket whatever you want to call it for that to work right uh, I think what I'm going to do is stick with the original and or not the original two but the uh, original value and go go ahead and order one from uh, eBay I found one for six dollars shipped 676 I think is what it was new in box so you know I think uh, they all been tested he says so I think that might be the way to go. Uh, the rest of the uh, filaments check good. 
so I think that's what we're going to do with this so that we'll be putting that away again also and that will leave the uh, time for the uh, Hitachi so I have boxes to put this in and I'll be putting that in the box so uh, that's where we're at and uh, I thought I'd update you there on that before I, I close this out uh, this won't be obviously posted for tomorrow for before tomorrow I should say interesting yeah. you guys have a great <clears throat> now I'm losing my voice <clears throat> I was watching Lucky Larry and he was losing his I think it must be spreading Larry alright you guys have a wonderful evening thanks for watching and we will see ya